watching uh, Jesse the Body and Adrian Adonis. They were just, you know, a couple of characters that were fun to watch. Awesome tag team. And I never really knew it, you know, before getting in the business. When I first met Sabu, he was still kind of real intense and uptight. And, right. And, uh, you know, and he had all the scars and stuff. And then back then it was like he would get off on it. Right. <laughs> Whatever. I was just like, I, I was, wasn't happy there. I wanted to get the hell out of there anyway. But So I just would sit out and wait out my contract. There was even a month I think I only worked twice. When those two days came, I didn't want to go to work. Right. I think I really had a lot to do with TNA surviving the first couple of years. And people may disagree, you know, because I never was pushed as one of their big top stars or anything. But I still think I had a lot to do with it. I'm kind of concerned with the direction the product's going. It's starting to look like WCW on its last leg. And Jerry does this. My own son doesn't even get it. And I was like, all right, you said it, not me. <laughs> the MVP of the pay-per-view. I thought, oh, you, you're you real smart, Mark, aren't you? <laughs> because I gave him 70% of the match. Right. I so was, I was thinking while I'm laying there, I should just get up and beat the piss out of this guy on live on a pay-per-view right now. Because he may have ended my career. Body. Well, instead of just giving me his finisher, he's got to do a little special cradle booby driver. And he doesn't take care of me. He dumps me straight up and down on my head and my shoulder and tears a tendon off my rotator cuff. As soon as I get back to the curtain, what the hell are you doing out there? I'm like, what, what do you mean? You're not supposed to be going out there and having matches like that. And I'm just like, whatever, you know, you're gonna bitch at me for doing it, working hard and doing a good job. So here I feel like uh, they put me in an unsafe working environment, I get hurt and then I get fired. So, uh, which was fine because I wasn't happy there. Here was the second time in my career I wanted to quit wrestling altogether. He said, I said, I don't think I want to do it unless I'm in the finals with Taka. He says, don't do it unless they put the belt on you. I said, yeah! <laughs> you know, <laughs>